Hi, this is Liam Conroy, and this is my presentation, Childhood Development and the Learning Process. So obviously there are many things that can take effect over time on the learning process, and they can happen as early as prenatal development. Uh, when we start thinking of the concept of a zygote developing all the way into an embryo, and then even further into a fetus, the conditions that the mother is going through can obviously affect the baby, even at this early developmental stage. Development can be affected by such substances as alcohol, um, smoking nicotine, illegal drugs, prescription and over-the-counter medicines, radiation exposure, and viruses. Um, the picture that we have on this slide demonstrates some of the physical characteristics that are altered, in this case by fetal alcohol syndrome. Um, you can see that it affects physical development, but it can also affect mental development, which can be in many cases detrimental to the learning process when these substances are evolved initially. In terms of how it impacts the student populations within the state of Kansas, looking at the annual summary of vital statistics from 2016, of the 38,048 live births in Kansas, about 7% were at a low birth rate, which can sometimes be associated with tobacco use or sometimes other substance abuse. Um, thankfully, Many babies were receiving prenatal care, 98.5% of the total births that were involved in Kansas, which can be beneficial to the development process, but still looking at specific tobacco use during pregnancy, where we're still looking at a 10.2% overall. So looking at development, we can consider this next stage, infancy into childhood. Um, looking first at preschool and how these developmental stages affect schooling at this point in time. These children will have more developed motor skills and limited object manipulation. So having play toys and things like that helps with the school at this point in time. Um, they have an identity of self-interest and a desire to interact with others in their peer environment. They're able to use words and memorize, so helping to encourage that is good. Um, they have the ability to recognize shapes and colors, so another thing that can be reinforced. Moving on into elementary school, there's more refined object manipulation when we start getting into fine tool use, such as pens and pencils. Um, there's greater levels of interaction with others. There's less of a focus on self, but there's still overall more of a sense of self than empathy for others. There's an overall sense of reality and ability to predict outcomes, which helps with grasping concrete subject matter. Um, they're capable of speech with full sentences, able to read independently so they can be put on assignments and tasks. They're able to count and utilize numbers within mathematics. This leads on into adolescence. Um, when we look at middle school, biggest changes are physical changes in puberty, which <laughs> nobody enjoyed during middle school. Um, thoughts are overall more organized, which helps very much with being able to plan out lesson planning. That's subject specific. We think of how school shifts at this point in time from being general to very specific. They're able to predict cause and effect. When we think of examples like the scientific method, it's a lot more applicable at this developmental stage. Um, they also have a more established idea of the education system. If there are habits that they've developed in school, whether good or bad, they're more reinforced at this point in time and are part of the student's overall strategy. Um, it's helpful to be able to intervene at these points as well. Moving on even more so into high school, which is the level that I'm teaching at right now and are currently most familiar with, um, the students have a sense of others in a global scale, a much larger worldview overall when relating to other people. They're able to do dissection of complex ideas such as politics, um, many more of the conceptual thinking rather than just concrete thinking. There's an efficiency increase overall, um, despite the fact they don't always turn in homework. There's still an increase in behavioral outbursts and risky behavior as they're going through the continued mental development at this stage, and they're also very self-conscious in both physical and social issues pertaining to them. What I've found is this does have an impact on group work in particular, who you're stationed with, um, can sometimes be a big effect of what students will and won't do at this stage, but it can lead to projects that have an established view for them, such as being able to do gardening and raise beds or to help pass legislation for wind turbines that helps shape them into adulthood. Um, this is to help boost them into their next stage of development, whether it's college or the job fields after that. Thank you very much for your time. Here is a list of the references that I used for this presentation. Thank you.